In this video, we're going to look at cloud services, and we're going to start with infrastructure as a service. If you want to build some server, put it on the cloud somewhere, it obviously needs to run on some kind of hardware, and that is infrastructure as a service. And here you see SoftLayer, Amazon's AWS, and Rackspace. Here is an example of software. You can see lots of racks, lots of wires, lots of network communication. Very hardware-centric. Then we move on to the platform as a service. And here you can see we have Linux, we have Windows, so basically you're talking about operating systems, and anything you see in the middle layer, so to speak. So this infrastructure-centric software, Kubernetes, Hadoop, JRE, WebSphere. This is where you see Bluemix, you see Azure, and of course uh, Cloud Foundry, and others including Amazon Web Services with its Elastic Load Balancer and Elastic Beanstalk. And then lastly, we have software as a service, where you see end user of software. Most probably recognizable is Google Apps, but then of course you also have IBM's SPSS statistics. Now we've been looking at all of these in terms of public cloud, meaning they're available to a large public because they take millions and millions of dollars generally to establish these. But you also have the possibility of a private or on-premises environment where all of these things are also running or are exclusively running privately with no public access to any of them. And that's often done for security reasons. But you have a third option as well, which is a hybrid cloud. And there you have some of your components running publicly and some other set of components are running privately. Now, if I log into IBM Bluemix, you can see the first of these two distinctions broken out, where you have the infrastructure and you have platform, and you can see the various options as I sort of scroll through this list here. Blockchain, data and analytics, DB2, DevOps, finance, and so on. 